everyone! Thanks for dropping by! I wanted to talk about the similarities and differences in a couple of Red Heart products that I buy and use fairly frequently here on the show. I'm talking about a Red Heart Comfort and Red Heart Super Saver. I've had some questions about the differences in these two products, and since I buy them both and I use them interchangeably, I thought I would address them in today's video. First, the similarities. Red Heart Comfort and Super Saver are both 100% acrylic, so they're made using the same fiber. They're both a worsted weight size 4 yarn, and that looks like that's that little size 4, that little 4 number that you see on the label of your yarn. So they're both a size 4 medium weight yarn. They both have the same washing instructions, so you can machine wash and dry this product, both of them, in the same cool water. So cool wash and a low heat dry. That's it pretty much for the similarities, but those are pretty important. The differences between these two balls of yarn are size and color. The Comfort is a gigantic skein of yarn. It's 454 grams or 792 meters. That's a solid ball of yarn. If you get the variegated or multicolored skeins of yarn, you're going to notice a little less yarn in those skeins. Uh, they'll retail for the same price, but they'll be a little lighter than the solid colored ones, and that's just because in manufacturing them, it costs a little bit more to put more colors into the same ball of yarn. Same thing goes for the Super Saver. The solid ball of yarn is 198 grams or 333 meters of yarn, and a variegated Super Saver will be a little bit less. Uh, so obviously size is a big difference between these two. The other thing is that the colors are different. You can't necessarily get the same rich red comfort color um, as you would with, say, Super Saver. Super Saver has reds too, but they're different. Um, I typically find that the hues vary. That might be because there's no specific dye lot, um, or it just might be that they wanted one brand versus the other to have a different feel to it. I'm not entirely sure. But the colors do dif differ, and so do the variegated options. The other thing to do with colors is that if you're buying enough of a comfort to do a project, you're going to order the color by the number. So comfort balls of yarn have a color number associated with them. Whereas with the Super Savers, they have a really cute name. So this one, for example, is Pretty in Pink. Um, other Super Savers have nice names like Spring Green or Dark Orchid. Uh, either way, if you're ordering Super Saver to do a project, you're ordering it by color name. There was one more little difference between these two products that I thought warranted a bit further investigation. I'm talking about the stitch guide. You'll find a stitch gauge or guide on a ball of yarn's label. There's usually one for knitting and one for crochet. Essentially, you use the hook size suggested, work the given number of stitches over the given number of rows, you get a little piece of fabric that you then measure and compare your measurements against the ones given on the label. This is helpful if you're designing and you want to know how much yarn you're going to use for an overall project, or if you just want to check your personal stitch tension against what the manufacturer considers as the average. Both the Comfort and the Super Saver suggest using a 5.5 millimeter hook, but the Comfort says 13 single crochets worked back and forth over 17 rows will get you a square of fabric that's 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters or 4 by 4 inches. Same hook, Super Saver yarn, it suggests 12 single crochets worked over 15 rows gets you a square exactly the same size, 10 by 10 centimeters or 4 by 4 inches. I thought that was a bit strange given that these yarns are essentially identical in their weight and fiber content, so I thought I would do a swap test to check out the measurements for myself. Since both yarns suggested using a 55 millimeter hook, that's what I'm using. But because they had different gauges, I decided to make up my own. The important thing is that you work the same pattern for the same number of rows using both products, and then you compare those measurements, and that gives you an idea of whether they're the same or different in weight. I used 13 double crochets worked back and forth over five rows. Not a very big swatch, doesn't have to be. That is the comfort. I did exactly the same thing for the Super Saver, and then I measured them. Interestingly enough, both swatches are exactly 11.5 centimeters wide by 8.5 centimeters deep. That tells me that despite what the label says, and maybe it's the difference in my own personal stitch tension, or perhaps it's a bit of a quirk in the labeling, both of these yarns are the same weight and the same size, so I can use them interchangeably in a project. It's not going to throw off my overall stitch size. Anyway, that's
that's it for now everyone. I hope you enjoyed this little comparison between these two Red Heart products, the Super Saver and the Comfort, and uh, their differences, similarities, and ultimately the fact that you can use them together, and that's a good thing. <laughs> and that's it. We will see you guys really soon here on the Jaden Stitches Show. In fact, we will see you Friday. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, have an awesome week everybody. Bye!